we have anywhere between 130 and 180 volunteers that come back into the society. We cannot offer services without it. I mean, they, they make beds, they clean floors, they uh, serve food, they do a lot of basic stuff. Volunteers that come in and do haircuts. People don't really think about the fact that getting a haircut costs money. And when you have no money, right, that's a luxury. And it, it does a huge amount for people's self-esteem, not just for the volunteer, but the, the person that's receiving it. People that come in have so many needs and, and finances, although Lookout receives the, the core of our funding from the government and the government has been very, very good to us, they don't cover 100% of the costs. And we have to, we really have to rely on donations and, and volunteers. We like to be really responsive and be a good neighbor to people. In our neighborhood, it means that the place around us has to look good which means you have to go and pick up the garbage. And it means that you have to look after landscaping. But having somebody come in and work with the, the gardens, that's excellent. But even more, it's if they can get some of the tenants working with them to do the landscaping, if that's the icing on the cake. Everybody wants to help, but they don't want to commit. They want to say, I want to help, but I only want to help every third Wednesday of every second month. They've got to say, I'm going to commit to this Wednesday and this is what I'm going to do. Volunteering is just an awesome thing. I think that you reap what you sow. I get really happy when some client says, I found a place to live. and You know, I'm so happy and thank you for being nice to me. You sleep in the doorways near Main and 18th, the grocery cart your home on wheels, filled with endless bags. They tell me you choose this life. I want to visit, but you prefer your aloneness. When I'm home in bed, warm, I think about you. In the morning, I see you with your cart, sheltering at the bus stop. Beg lady, what's going to happen to you?